Hello friends, welcome to an another video on, Safety in 180 seconds, part 21. This video we are going to learn about Halon type extinguisher and its features. Halogenated hydrocarbons, halons, are a group of extinguishing agents, which, are stored under pressure in liquid form and released in such a way as to vaporize readily in a fire zone. They extinguish fire mainly by interfering with the chemical reaction involved in the propagation of flame. They possess little cooling effect. Halons can be effectively used in Class B and C fires especially in confined spaces. They are electrically non-conductive and safe to use on electrical of electronic equipment and cause little damage. Halons are hydrocarbon compounds of a group of five non-metallic elements known as halogens i.e., fluorine, chlorine, bromine, iodine, and astatine. For various reasons iodine and astatine are not suitable for extinguishants and can be ignored. Characteristics of Halon Fire Extinguisher 1. Their efficiency as extinguishing agents 2. Toxicity, including that of their products on decomposition 3. Physical properties for example, boiling and freezing points 4. Effect on materials with which they come in contact how to identify types of halon extinguishers The actual names of the halons are shortened to sets of initial letters as under Name, bromotrifluoromethane, initials, BTM, halon number, 1301 Name, bromochlorodifluoromethane, initials, BCF, halon number, 1211 Name, dibromotetrafluoroethane, initials, DTE, halon number, 2402. Name, chlorobromomethane, initials, CBM, halon number, 1011. Name, carbon tetrachloride, initials, CTC, halon number, 104. Name, methylobromide, initials, MB, halon number, 1001 Halons 1301 and 1211 are the least toxic. The exposure of personnel to these agents during firefighting is likely to be well within the maximum safe values, except where total flooding system is being discharged. In a fire situation a further aspect to be considered is the effect of the decomposition products of halons. They are much more toxic than the halons themselves. However, it is the combustion products of the actual fire such as smoke and carbon monoxide, which, present the greatest hazard. Halons should not be used on chemicals containing their own oxygen. They should not be used on reactive metals and metal hydrates. Portable halon extinguishers commonly range from 500 grams to 7 kilograms and are invariably of the stored pressure type. They are normally pressurized to about 10 bar with dry nitrogen to ensure efficient discharge. Most halon extinguishers have their discharge controlled by a lever but a few designs have striker. Hope you have learned about Halon Type Extinguisher, please like our video as a support to create such educational videos about fire safety. Consider subscribing our channel, to get daily updates on our informative videos. Our next video is on Foam Type Extinguisher, see on our next video. Take care.